on my Facebook account of uh, explainingmaps.com, one of you has asked me to help uh, with this past paper question, which involves creating um, a histogram, first of all, and then some, then some questions about probability um, and uh, quartiles. Now, uh, before I start, again, this is a past paper question, so credit goes to Cambridge um, examinations because this is their question. I did not create it, but we're just simply here together to, to solve it. All right. Now, the question is from an O-level paper. However, if you are a GCSE or IGCSE student, uh, you should also be able to answer these questions. So also very useful for you. What is going on? It says, the speeds of 50 cars being driven along a stretch of road were recorded. Yeah, so somebody is standing next to the road and is recording the speeds of, in total, 50 cars. The table below shows the distribution of the speeds of the cars. Yeah, so before we start reading the actual questions, let's have a look at that table. So we have different classes of the speeds from 20 to 40, 40 to 50. And then you already notice that the, that the width is different. Yeah, this is a width of 20. Um, and that is a width of 10, and this is a width of 5, as you can see. Yeah? And the frequencies here, 4, 14, 10. I'm just going to check if that adds up to 50, because they say they have checked 50 cars. So 4, uh, 18, 28, 36, 46 indeed, plus 4 is 50. Yeah? So these are the 50 cars. Now, let's have a look. Using a scale of 1 centimeter to represent 10 kilometers per hour, draw a horizontal axis for the speeds up to 110 kilometers per hour. And using a scale of 4 centimeters for one unit, draw a vertical axis for the frequency densities. Okay, now uh, from 0 to 2 units. So this is going to be a histogram with frequency density, and that is very important. So it's not just a frequency, it's frequency density, and I'm going to say more about that in a minute. Let me start with drawing the horizontal axis, 1 centimeter, 10 kilometers per hour to a maximum of 110 kilometers per hour. So how many centimeters do I need? I'm gonna need 11 centimeters. So I take my ruler now. I'm gonna do the best I can on my tablet and a ruler on top of that. But I'm placing it now. So I have 11 centimeters. Um, and I'll take two of those blocks being one centimeter. So, well, that's not too bad. I have a beautiful princess ruler from my daughter. Um, and it produces a straight line. So I'm going to say, of course, you label your axis eh, the speed and then the units, kilometers per hour. And it starts at zero. And then, oh, I'm trying not to press all my but the buttons. Yeah, okay. So 10. Can I move this one up a little bit? Is that possible? Yes, it's possible. That's better. Uh, 10, 20. Yeah, one centimeter was 10 kilometers per hour. Yeah, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So, for some reason, I did not measure that correctly because it needs to go up to 110 kilometers per hour. Let me just check that very quickly. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110 kilometers per hour. Good. Uh, but just take the question back because vertically for the frequency density, four centimeters is one unit and we have to go from zero to two units. So how many centimeters do we need? If one unit is four centimeters and we have to draw two units, we need four times two, so eight centimeters. I'm gonna drag this one down now. I'm gonna draw now a line of eight centimeters vertically. Hopefully I'm able to do that better than I was a minute ago. Um, one, two, three, four, I lost count, I can't count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the top one is eight, yeah? Two units, and that is frequency density. Yeah, make sure you label your axis. Okay, now what is frequency density? Frequency density is, and I've made videos about this eh, when I'm doing histograms, so make sure you've checked those, but just to, to quickly summarize that, frequency density is something we use, especially when the width of the classes is different, okay? Because otherwise you can just use a bar chart with the frequency vertically. But now the width is different. Frequency density, then the area of each bar, and I'm gonna show you in a minute how you do that, the area of each bar, will equal to the actual frequency. So if I look at that first class, it goes from 20 to 40. 
yeah? And the frequency is four. So from 20 to 40, so let me just take this one down. That will just fit, doesn't it? Okay, from 20 to 40, let me do that in red. From 20 to 40, that's a width of 20, okay? Then I'm asking myself now, let me write it down here. How high should it be? What is the frequency density? to get a frequency of four, okay? Because the area of my bar of this frequency density histogram needs to be my actual frequency. So four divided by 20, uh, which is two over 10, which is one over five or 0 0.2. So the height, the frequency density is gonna be 0 0.2. So four of them is one, so one centimeter is 0 0.25, and then a little bit less than that. You make sure you do that accurately, uh, but I can't on my tablet, yeah, but you, I'm gonna make sure that is exactly 0 0.2. For now, it's important that you realize that it's a little bit less than 0 0.25. I'm doing the best I can on my tablet, but you want a piece of graph paper uh, with your sharp pencil and ruler, need to do, uh, do a better job. Okay, so again, the area, 20 times 0 0.2, equals the actual frequency, four. The next one, from 40 to 50, yeah, so that's a width of 10. So again, I'm gonna ask myself, 10 times, what is the frequency density to get a frequency then of 14, okay? And that indeed is 1.4. So 10, 1.4, so that is one, 1 1.25, 1.5, and then a little bit less uh, than that, so, um, yeah, roughly there. And you finish the bar. And as you can see, it is a lot higher. That's also because the width is not as wide as the bar before, yeah? So frequency density appreciates the fact that if the width if is more narrow, you still have a high frequency, yeah, that is yeah, that's, yeah, that is, is a good job, and that's why the bar goes up. From 50 to 55, that's only um, a width of five. I need to get a frequency of 10. So five times what is 10? Indeed, five times two is 10. So with only a width of five, and as you can see, the although the frequency perhaps is less, yeah, 10 is less than 14, because the width is only five because it's such a narrow width the bar goes up okay the bar goes up because there are relatively a lot of cars in this class yeah in this narrow class okay and that's what you do for all of them from 55 to 60 again a width of a width of five the frequency is eight so you ask yourself how high should it be five times and then you will find out it's 1.6 so a little bit more than 1.5, 1.5, 5, 1.6, 1 but you do that accurately. Yeah, I want you to measure that with your ruler and to really make sure you're exactly on 1.6, but I cannot do that on my tablet properly. Okay, okay, there we go. Uh, then from 60 to 70, that's a width of 10 again. The frequency is 10, so how high should it be? Well, that should be one high then, eh? because 10 times one is 10. There we go, and I go down. You don't have to shade those bars, by the way. Um, from 70 to 110, that's a width of 40. The frequency is four, that will make the frequency density 0 0.1, eh? so it's gonna be 0 0.1 high. I'm just gonna take this one away. Just make sure this is 70, 50, 60, 70, 0 0.1. So that is going to be less than half and a quarter because half of a quarter is 0 0.125. And this is only 0 0.1, so a little bit less than that. But again, you make sure you do that accurately. You measure that, okay? You measure that with your ruler. And that is my histogram with frequency density, okay? Where the area of each bar represents the frequency, yeah? So uh, make sure you're able to construct that yourself because you will most likely get a question about it. Good. Now we go to um, a new video, part two where we're gonna answer all of these questions about 
um, about the quartiles and about the probability. So please go to the next video, part two, uh, or you go to my site, explainingmaths.com, where you'll find all these resources nicely organized for you. You can also ask me your question, I will help you too. And if this was useful, like and share it, then I can help your friends too. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.